final stage of the OVO Energy Women's Tour sees the race visit London for the very first time in its history. Taking in world-famous monuments on the way, the flat Criterium-like course would be one for the sprinters. I've been looking forward like now for four days. It's been quite a hard women's tour and always up and down and uh, quite hilly. But um, now it's a flat stage and uh, it's sort, sort of a crit in London and uh, it really suits me and um, I'm going to enjoy it. Today is already sort of jumping around. We've still got another couple hours before we start and it's already bustling. I guess that's London for you. Um, so yeah, very excited. It would be fantastic to, to get the stage win, but I'm not going to deny that it seems a, an extravagant goal. <laughs> um, but I will give it a crack. The 78 riders who managed to survive the testing first four stages lined up next to Piccadilly Circus for 10 laps at the heart of the capital. At the front, race leader Kasia Niviadoma, who had held the lead since the very first stage. On flat sprinting roads such as these, it would be difficult for a break to gather enough distance to threaten her 1 minute 25 second advantage, but they would certainly try. The pace was frenzied from the start. Eight riders escaped, including the green jersey and almost a full set of Bowles Dolman's riders. They had 30 seconds on the rest at the intermediate sprint. Even without teammate Lisa Brenoa, who suffered a mechanical, Hannah Barnes powered the line to take the top three points and three bonus seconds. Christine Majerus battled to second place, drawing her level with sprint jersey wearer Jolien Dorr on the points. The winner of the jersey would be decided in three laps' time. Wiggle High Five were determined to make that sprint's jersey their own, though, and their work at the front of the peloton eventually brought the break back. However, in the run-up to the second and last intermediate sprint of the race, they were nowhere to be seen. Instead, Canyon SRAM hit the front in full lead-out mode. Barnes was now tying with Ellen Van Dyke in the GC standings and saw an opportunity to leapfrog even more riders with another bonus. Brenauer pushed at a pace no one else could compete with. Before the last corner, Trixie Warwick took over to take the best British rider through the chicane and kept driving until 150 metres to go. With the peloton strung out from the acceleration, Barnes could cruise to the line to claim another three bonus seconds. Two intermediate sprints, two wins. It may not seem like much, but it was enough to jump the Canyon Sram rider up to a podium place in her home race. That's as long as she could hold off Team Sunweb at the finish line. Majerus's second place meant she claimed the sprint's jersey. On the final lap, a familiar sight in this race, women's world tour leader Anna van der Breggen heading the pack. Team Sunweb took over in an attempt to save the GC campaigns of riders Ellen van Dijk and Leia Kirchman, who had slipped down the rankings by a matter of seconds. Door in the red jersey she had just given up to Majerus stayed in second wheel as they rounded onto Regent Street. Stage three winner Chloe Hoskin was rallying. As the road straightened, Door flew forward. Barnes took a clear line out wide. Majerus stuck to the middle with her points jersey at stake. But the Belgian was not to be overcome. A third Women's World Tour stage win for 2017. Barnes snatched another six seconds on GC and a stage second place with a blistering finish. Majerus took third to keep her points jersey. Race leader Nivia Doma didn't miss a beat on stage five, finishing in the front pack. In fact, she didn't miss a beat all race, ensuring that she goes home with the green jersey. Dawes' stage win wasn't the only thing for Wiggle High Five to celebrate. Audrey Cordon took the mountains jersey, which she confirmed on stage four. A gritty display from Majerus sees her claim both the sprint jersey and the points jersey to add to her second place on the overall standings. And newly crowned with a third place in the overall, Hannah Barnes also took the top British rider jersey, holding off her sister Alice. Kirchman was pushed off the GC podium, but received a consolation as part of the best team, Team Sunweb. I'm really pleased with the win, um, especially for the team, because uh, they did a lot of work this week. But uh, it wasn't easy. The race was really hard from the start, and I think it was one of the hardest crits I've done in my life. Everybody was just suffering, and everybody was on, a, was on our limit, and um, luckily we pulled it off in the end. Of course, it's such a big relief right now. <laughs> it was really tough days for us. We did all our best to keep the green jersey, 
for sure we didn't plan to have it from the first day and yeah but it happened so we are super pleased and delighted that we made it through the whole week and we ended up the race in London with a green jersey. Nevia Doma's overall win also sees her inherit the Women's World Tour jersey from Anna van der Breggen. While Cecily Utrup Ludwig maintains a healthy lead atop the youth standings. Wiggle High Five had two riders finish in the top ten on stage five, with Georgia Bronzini coming in behind Door in seventh. And in the GC, Hannah Barnes finished third overall, thanks to the bonus seconds she earned in London. Nevia Doma's lead in the World Tour ranking stands at 42 points after her successful trip to Britain. And in the youth standings, drops rider Alice Barnes moves into second place ahead of teammate Anna Christian.